today I'll be playing Ready or Not, but instead of the standard maps, we're playing one of the best community created maps, the Metro Station. To make the mission even more intense, I'm rolling with just a two-man squad. This should be fun. I can already see a civilian in a work uniform behind the ticket counter and a masked suspect with a weapon in his hand. Oh, oh my god, that shot was insane. I kind of stop here because I can't believe I just made that shot. The mirror gun is by far my favorite utility. So you normally use this to peek under doors to see what's on the other side. But I know that there's some of you who don't know that you can actually mirror around corners. You always want to peek doors before you open them because sometimes, like right now, there's a tripwire with a grenade that will explode if I don't disarm it. Time to cut the wire and disarm the trap. Another civilian. You can always tell civilians because they don't have a weapon in their hand. Civilians usually don't want to get down, so you have to carry pepper spray just in case. Restrain the civilians, then report the arrest. Another dynamic is you have to report all suspects, restrain any suspects not DOA, and you have to bag and report all evidence, like their weapons. I always restrain every suspect because, no joke, I've seen them get up and come at you when you think that they're DOA. It blows me away that this is a community-created map. The attention to detail and layout is amazing. If you're watching, I love the map you created. So I'm not worried about the civilian, but I am worried about the escalators on the left and the right, because I know the suspects are down there. Okay, the right is clear, but now I have to check the left. Gotta move up to get a better look. Another civilian. You can always tell civilians because they don't have a weapon in their hand. So the left and the right both look clear, which is kind of bad news because that means that the suspects are probably hiding. My partner is restraining the civilian, so I'm covering him at least on one side. Partner is already heading down the left side. Gotta provide backup. Always be using the shout for compliance. There he goes. Hello there. Now there's two. Got the first one. The AI is no joke. Dude is hiding behind those pillars. There he is. Oh no! Dude just shot me. I just put most of a mag into that area. Pretty sure I got him. I know that noise. My partner just used pepper spray to make the civilian comply. You always have to keep watch on every corner or potential spot for a suspect to hide because they can and will smoke you with a quickness. Yes, sir. I did get both those dudes. Now I got a report, bag the evidence, restrain, and move on. Sometimes it can be really hard to find the weapons to bag up. But before I do that, I am not about to get smoked, so let's check our corners. Let's make sure there isn't any suspects just hanging out in the open or moving on our position before we do anything else. Just saw movement. Let's go get a better look with the mirror gun. That's why I love this game. Literally every moment is all tension. There he is. Trying to shoot that guy from here is not an easy shot. And the AI in this game has aimbot turned all the way up. So unless he makes a move on us, we don't push him. See how useful the mirror gun is? You have a suspect on your left and a civilian on your right. Yo, another trap? This is crazy. So the move here is to have my partner open a door and then I throw a flashbang in to disorient the suspect and hopefully take him down peacefully. As soon as the flash goes off, we move in fast. Here we go. Got the suspect and the civilian safely. That's how it's done, y'all. While my partner secures them, I gotta watch for the flank. I fully expect an enemy to turn that corner into the doorway. Now we reset and check to see where that enemy from earlier is at. Because my partner has that riot shield, sometimes it's best to just let him take point. I'm hoping that enemy from earlier is still where he was and hasn't decided to go hide somewhere. 
The guy is shooting at us already, but because I'm using that mirror gun, there's nothing for him to hit, and now I see exactly where he is. I'm waiting to see if this guy moves to a new position on us. If he's just going to stand there, I'm going to toss a flashbang, stun him, and take him out. I'm going to get one last look in just to be safe. Yo, here he comes up the stairs. Got him, coach. What'd you say? Now comes the really hard part where we're basically exposed as we go down the stairs. I should not be reporting suspects and collecting evidence right now. All it would take is one enemy to come around the corner and I'm history. I love that there's an option to check your mags to see how much ammo you have left. There's also the option to quick reload, which causes you to drop the mag whether it's empty or not. Or you can just switch mags, where you keep the mag but replace it with a new one. Again, the mirror gun comes in clutch. Everything looks clear. I can hear movement, but I can't see anything. Happens all the time, and the tension is insane right now. After all the work we've put in, I am not about to get smoked because I rushed in too quickly. And I'm also hearing something coming from my left side in the train car, so I'm definitely going to keep checking the mirror gun. I'm almost hoping I see someone so at least I'll know where they are. I don't want to move up, but at this point I don't think I have a choice. We are straight creeping, because I'm telling you, enemies can hear us and will push us if they hear us coming. We are sitting ducks right now. There it is. We're getting shot at, and I have no idea where the shots are coming from. I'm looking for them, but I can't see anyone. These enemies have aimbot. They have aimbot. Gotcha. He's coming in, he's coming in. Got him. We got lucky there. Now I'm tripping, because I know there's more out there, but they probably aren't going to walk up on us like that guy just did. Dude, you know I'm nervous when you see me checking my mags over and over again. I'm telling you, these civilians never want to cooperate. Yo, I had to season this guy up with the pepper spray. Like 90% of the time, the civilians won't just get down and let me do what I need to do. All right, I'll cover that entrance. Now I have to cover these two entrances while my partner secures them. Another tense moment. I just want him to get done restraining these people so we can move on. I do not like standing out here. It's like wearing a sign that says, here I am, come smoke me. Finally, I swear, I thought for sure some dude was going to pop out and smoke the both of us. Now we just got to clear this other train car. No enemies, nothing else to report in this train car. Dude, I'm telling you, the second I think we're good, we get pushed by these dudes. Nice, he got him. I'm telling you, that dude definitely came all the way from the other side of the map to get us. Okay, you know what we got to do. Secure the suspects and bag all the evidence. Now we gotta do the same thing on the other side. Yo, I gotta make sure we bag all the evidence. Honestly, I forgot all about these guys. I'm tripping, that's not an enemy, that's that civilian that's still up top there. Okay, clutch time y'all. We take out this side and we will win, but there's also probably still a bunch of enemies down there. Mirror gun for the win. Don't get too close. Don't get too close. What did I just say? There's an enemy down there. I'm actually going to try to hit this dude long range while using a controller. Got another one. Thank you to whoever invented flashlights. That flashlight actually makes the smoke not really that bad. I know you'll probably think I'm moving too slow. But after coming this far, I am not getting smoked. So the smartest thing to do is to play it safe and move up slowly. Mirror gun is seriously the best weapon in this game by far. 
Now we got another split so dudes can come from the left or the right. Now we restrain that dude, bag the evidence, and hope that there isn't somebody around the corner waiting to smoke us. At this point, there's only a couple enemies left, and it always seems like that's when everything decides to fall apart. Let's mirror the left and hope for the best. Yo, there he is! Yo, oh my god, that dude got smoked! I know there's only a few more enemies left, but at the end of the mission they always seem to get way more aggressive. Another dude comes out of nowhere. Okay, objective complete. Bring order to chaos. That means there are no more enemies and all we need to do is find the remaining civilians, report them in, and we got it. I am stoked right now. This is one of the tougher maps in the whole game. Now all we have to do is locate the remaining civilians and that should be it. But the real issue with the game as it exists now is that occasionally a rogue civilian can be running around the map and it can sometimes take a while to find them. I'm pretty sure those are the last civilians. Once I report them in, I'll find out whether that's it or if we miss something somewhere. I'm hoping this is it. Yes, sir. Objective complete. Rescue all the civilians. That's it. GG's, baby. Moment of truth. Let's find out our score. Okay. Two of two mission objectives completed. Yes. Ten of ten suspects reported. Yes. Ten of ten civilians reported. Yes. Ten of ten pieces of evidence secured. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 a B? Yo, shenanigans. I'm declaring shenanigans on this. I have been robbed and I want to see my lawyer. If you guys enjoyed and want to watch some more Ready or Not videos, make sure to click that sub button below and I'll see y'all next time.